Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to kind of finish our look at Open Directory and all the different components of it. And we're going to talk about how to bind clients to uh, your Open Directory master or binding them to your server. Uh, now in, pre in a previous uh, screencast we talked about how to set up Open Directory and I went through that entire process. Uh, then we talked about users and groups and how to add network users uh, that would reside inside your open directory. And so this week, like I said, we're going to talk about how do you get your uh, computers, your Macs, bound to your open directory so that they are also uh, a part of that open directory and managed that way. So I'm going to show you how to do that and go into that in detail. So let me just uh, let me put this down here for a minute. Now, the first thing that I want to do is just make sure that your network is set up properly in terms of your DNS servers. Uh, one of the things that can happen is if your DNS servers aren't set up properly, when you go to bind uh, one of your Macs to your server, uh, what will happen is, is it won't come up uh, with your server itself with a fully qualified domain name. It might come up with your local Bonjour address. And that will, that will allow you to bind to the server, but it will only be a local bind. It won't be a secure bind where you're able to put in the username and password and, and all of that information. So you want to make sure that uh, you have things set up properly. So I'm in Airport Utility here under the Internet tab, and if you're using an uh, Airport Extreme base station, you want to make sure, again, that the DNS servers right here shows your local server's address. So whatever your, uh, whatever your server's IP address is on your network, you want to make sure that that's filled in right there so that that way it will allow for that bind. Uh, I've had it before where people just forget to put it in there, and all of a sudden they're having issues binding to the server, and that's usually the case. So you want to make sure that that's set, uh, that's set right there. Let me just cancel this. I'm going to put this down. Uh, the other thing, you, 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 other place you can check that at uh, is in System Preferences, coming into the Network tab. Uh, you can see right here under DNS Server, I've got that listed first. If for some reason this isn't set up properly, you just go into Advanced and go into your DNS. And then on here, just make sure that your DNS server is showing right here at the top. And that'll make sure that that uh, is taken care of for you so that you're able to do the bind properly. Uh, just a couple of things that I, uh, that I run into that I know uh, people sometimes don't see or forget and can have problems if they don't do that uh, properly. So let me just put this down. Now I've got a screen share with one of my other computers here. And so I'm going to show you through this screen share uh, how to do the bind to the server. Uh, it's really not, uh, not too difficult. Uh, but you go into System Preferences here, and you want to go over to Users and Groups and click that. Now, once you're inside Users and Groups, you'll see under the Logins, you want to click this Login option right here. Uh, you'll probably have to click this lock and authenticate uh, with your uh, administrator password. And you'll notice right here I've got Network Account Servers, and you'll see I'm already bound to one server right here. You can see i got the green dot and everything's okay. What you're going to see if you're not bound to a server is just a button that says Join right here. I'm just going to click Edit, and it brings down this drop, uh, drop down right here. What you're going to want to do is just uh, you want to click an Add, and you're going to see uh, this server drop down here. And if you've done it properly, when you click this, you should see your server's uh, fully qualified domain name right here. Right, and so that's the DNS name that we've got. I'm going to click that, and it's saying that uh, you can enter this, uh, you know, open directory uh, server if I want to. I'm going to click OK, and that's going to ask if it's okay to trust the SSL certificate that we set up and whether you want to trust this server or not. And so, of course, it's our server, so yes, we do want to trust it. And then once it's gathered the information, you can see I've got a client uh, computer ID right here. You can see. Uh, you know, it's all hyphenated. It's Todd's, you know, MacBook P right here. I can just leave that there. That, that identifies it fine. Uh, you could change your uh, computer ID if you want to, but I'm going to leave that alone. And then what you're going to want to do is put in the, your username and password uh, for uh, the server. Okay, so you want to you want to put in here, actually you want to put in the, your directory administrator name and password so it's a secure bind. Okay, so notice down here it tells you it allows for authenticated binding. You can choose uh, to enter a name and password. You can also leave them blank to bind anonymously. So if you want to bind anonymously, uh, you can just say OK and by bypass all of this. But you probably want to bind uh, authenticated so that it will show up in your open directory. So again, this is your uh, directory uh, password that you set up when we set up open directory. So let me just put that information in. Okay, now that I've got the information in there, I just click OK, and it's starting the binding process, as you can see. 
Uh, it could take a few minutes. Uh, you can see it's adding the server now. It's updating the search path to make sure it's OK. And now there I am. So you can see that I am now bound to the server. You can see I'm on the open directory server here. I've got the green light, which is what I want to see. And so now everything is ready to go. So I click Done. And now you can see down here it's changed it to multiple for me because I'm bound to multiple servers. Uh, if you're just doing one, you'll see your server's domain name right here, and you want to see that green light. Once you've seen that, now your uh, computer is bound to your server, and so now it's connected. And as we'll, do, as we'll talk about in future screencasts, we'll show how that's going to help you be able to manage your machine uh, and all of the different network services. Uh, the other thing it does is this window pops up here, this area here, which says allow network users to log in at the login window. And so you can check that box now, and now any user on your network uh, can, can log into uh, your server through the computer. You can see some of the options here. I can say all network users, or I can also just limit it to specific network users that I say I only want these network users to be able to log in. Again, the network users are the users that you set up in the users and groups section when we made that happen uh, in uh, the previous tutorial. Okay, let's just click Done. So there you go. That's how you bind uh, a client uh, to your server, and you're going to want to do that for all of your clients in your network. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.